Well, my uh, smart alloc reply is going to be, Fort Collins has always been a very smart city with the university and a lot of its thought leadership. As far as the term smart grid goes, uh, Fort Zed started to educate us on a lot of what that meant. It certainly added components of it to parts of our system. <clears throat> as we also, though, are pursuing uh, deployment of advanced metering infrastructure. So what that means is we are building a communication network across the community. The AMI system really provides a foundation for us to build up. And smart means intelligence, data. You understand what's happening in your community on our system, which we've never had before. So I think we build, we're building a foundation to grow. And we'll get I think the initial idea came about uh, through the Community Foundation, Clean Energy Cluster, uh, an organization at the time called University. Uh, that was a partnership with the city and the university. And the city uh, has a big, hairy, audacious goal. And I believe that was in the 2007 time frame or so. Uh, so with that, big goal that they developed, they were able to pursue the DOE grant, and uh, really that was the kickstart. Mm -hmm. Biggest and most valuable lesson is the value of that collaboration. The Jumpstart program that we did with the DOE really involved multiple partners throughout the city, uh, such as Ray, who develops control technology, um, grid management software, uh, Brendel Group did a lot of the analysis. Woodward, uh, who was a key partner in New Belgium, who added a lot of resources. The Larimer County, the City Facilities Department as well. Uh, Eaton Controls, um, Caterpillar was an initial partner. Van Dyne participated. And I hope I'm not leaving the university, of course, and uh, the university at many levels, uh, from their facilities group to um, also just their thought leadership and direction in it. So collaborating on a project like that with all of these partners really provided a lot of value in how do you start to facilitate change? Uh, because it's not just going to be, uh, as we were discussing earlier, just the utility saying this is what we're doing. It really has to be a partnership with the community and the business community, our citizens to make a difference. Certainly we have our two-year work plan where we're focusing on renewable energy, uh, both local to the community and also larger utility scale. Uh, we're focusing on load control and demand. A uh, large initiative, as you just heard about, focused on energy efficiency and how do we go about improving our built environment uh, and, and also uh, you know, smart grid idea. Mm -hmm. and moving that forward, which are the four key areas we're focused on. And with this two-year work plan, it really provides us uh, an ability to say, these are the projects. Now, we are perfectly willing to look at new projects, look at new ideas. We, we do uh, appreciate the conversation around new innovations and what people 